yes, follow Cronautus Mulleri. Still probably the most beautiful of all the beetles that we can breed easily. Uh, this is a beautiful male. And today I would like to present to them a new breeding box where they can um, mate and where the females can lay their eggs. So that the breeding process of this beautiful insect originally from Australia can go on. It's really a masterpiece of nature. Follow Crognatus Mulleri. Beautiful. It's impossible to show the beauty of this animal even um, with film or, or even here on this impossible because it's reflecting the red and green colors in a fantastic way so you hardly can make a good picture and a good photograph of it so that's a male uh, we have here is a female and uh, there's another female somewhere down here i've seen it oh there are two of them here one two so we have three females and what we need for them is a really good professional uh, box and for that of course we need this one here this is the most beautiful piece of oak i could find at the moment in my beetle garage so i took it because i think this is a beautiful uh, beetle we will have a lot of um, offspring from them if we present them a good piece of oak this is a seven to eight year old um, Quercus robur with uh, shiitake uh, on it so it has grown around six seven years and now it's uh, really uh, soft here and I put it into water for uh, one day 24 hours now I have to remove the outer layer the bark so that the female when they dive down so that they can go into the white rotten wood very easily and lay their eggs there also we can use the the bark pieces that we cut away we can use them for the the top of the of the box i will show you later just have a look sometimes the bark of this oak is easy to remove as you probably know oak trees they have a core of very 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 hard uh, wood and then they surrounded by around 12 10 to 12 um, earrings of soft wood and as you can see also here i put the the dowels of the shiitake into uh, into into the hard wood of the tree uh, but still next to it it's not uh, already infested by the mushroom but only in the places where i put the towels like here 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 and of course in the softer wood around it so here if the if the larvae are eating it's what is left is only kind of a piece like this this is also hardwood of oak like the inner part here that you see that's what is left after around one two years uh, that the uh, larvae have been chewing on that block but of course the female they lay their eggs in the soft part um, of the block so that's what you see here so everywhere where there's no bark they can go in very easily and lay their eggs there and of course i hope that they lay a lot of them and of course if you stay tuned to this channel you will be part of this experiment because i always go back to my breeding containers that i have prepared later on and if you subscribe you get an email every time i upload a new video so and where's the box here 
I cleaned it before and what I did also I sterilized some black soil that uh, a material consisting of, of uh, flake soil and leaves and older material and I sterilized it because uh, there were some worms in it and I don't want them to appear here in my new breeding box. So first cover the bottom with this material. You can compress this a little bit if you like. Then I put the, the complete block here that is perfectly fitting in to that container like this. Now you can fill it up with the substrate. You also can leave a bit of the, the oak wood open to the top like this so that the females they smell very easily that here is something nice to dive down and lay their eggs. That's it. Also, don't forget these animals they don't fly around even though they have uh, wings they are not used to fly around, especially um, stag beetles, they don't fly around very often, only the, the males in search of a female or the females to, when they come out, um, to leave the breeding place that they were born and they were uh, growing. So that's about it, so you can also use some of this material. But don't forget, every time you put in some new stuff that is not sterilized, can be that there are some worms or eggs of worms already in here. So um, be careful with that. And I also have sterilized a set of this uh, covering wood here so that I'm sure that there is no big problem with earthworms here. That's it. So, and now we need some beetle jellies, of course to feed them uh, in the next two, three weeks. I always put some in the edges of a box, but you can also put them in here. They will go to, to see where it uh, smells good. They smell like banana sometimes, or a lot of different uh, kind of flavors they have. That's it. So, and now let's see for this beautiful male here. He's the chef here at the moment. We have only one male but three females, but this is a uh, good um, ratio because the females, as soon as they are fertilized, they dive down into the substrate and you don't see or hardly see them anymore. And um, and I also put them here just to show it to you. They seem to be not quite ready. Uh, they're just a closed. Uh, here's only also one. So that's the new breeding design for them. And um, of course, if you want, you can add some spray some water on top. That's also what they like always because you know these are tropical species. They like to be in a warm and wet surrounding. And that's what we do. And if you stay tuned you can see what happens here in around four months. So that's about April 2016. We will have a look here. 